What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're unboxing slash first impressions review of the small rig GH5 slash GH5S camera cage. Um, now the thing about camera cages, they're typically really expensive. The wooden camera stuff, all that stuff is always, I don't know, it's just so expensive and it's really just a milled piece of aluminum or a piece of metal that has screw holes in it that protects your camera. I don't really see why they're so expensive. So I saw this online, which just the cage is like 88 bucks. And then the cage plus the handle is, I don't know, 120 bucks, which is like, that's fine. I'll pay that for that. That, that sounds fine. What I always find really funny is when I do a, a video about a camera or with a, with a camera, um, I can't use that camera to film the video. So having a two camera setup is quite difficult unless you have a GoPro. Then you can have like a B shot. It's not as good as the A shot, whatever. Another story, but I have some other gadgets here some stuff we can use to build the rig. So, let's get to the unboxing with my favorite knife and go for it. So, open it up, got a nice GoPro shot, nothing wrong with that. I did get some other stuff. I'm, I'm really on the, the age of spending all my money, you know, on online. But, we got the camera cage. We have another cam bait arm. Uh, we have these little lock thingies, all cool stuff, and some mount screws and some other screws. These are just extra stuff on the side, just in case I, I need them. Um, but So let's get to the cage. Should be kind of nice. I've been waiting to unbox this just to do it on camera, so I've, I've been biding my time. So, here's the cage. Comes packaged nicely, nothing wrong with that. Sounds sturdy. And then, the actual thing. Oh, I'm gonna need an Allen wrench, an Allen wrench to put this together. It doesn't come with an Allen wrench. That's, that's, most, most stuff comes with the Allen wrench. Does it, am I just missing it? Am I just not seeing it? No, it doesn't come with one. Okay, that's fine. All right, I can live with that. So clearly this is gonna go up here, somewhere. And I should have an Allen wrench that's made for these. I have my extra stuff from the last video, these little mount plates that I thought were cool. And there should be, an, this should work just fine for this. Hopefully it's the same size. Is this the right size? Can we just get lucky? Oh, we got lucky. We have the right size. That's nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this because that seems kind of proper. I don't, I don't see why the camera can't go into it after I put this together. We'll start this way. I'm sure someone can tell me in the comments why other rigs like Wooden Camera and the other companies make better quality stuff. I guess it's a better quality metal. I don't know, it's milled better. Um, this seems pretty tight. That should be fine. Right. And then we can put the camera on the inside. Now I do want to put it not too far out front because I have my Metabone Speed Booster and my 18 to 35 millimeter um, attached to this. So don't want to like have it too far out. Oop, I'm glad I got a screwdriver. This should just go right in. Seems to be working. Yeah, attaching that shouldn't be a big deal at all afterwards. All right, so there you go. Right. First impressions, very easy to assemble. Didn't take no time. If I dropped it, I'm sure it would protect my camera. It looks sturdy, it looks a little more, it looks sturdy, it looks a little more professional. Not bad, not bad. Kinda like it. Now, we have other stuff. So, the plan is to eventually get a monitor that'll be like right here, a big monitor. Think of like a Ninja Inferno, cause it's like, I can record on it and I can watch my stuff. And, I like having my audio on here as well because I can actually like monitor audio without it being on a table somewhere else. So I'm actually using one of these lobs right now, right here, but I got another set for all this stuff. So let's go ahead and assemble the lens, I guess. That'll be smart. And what I really like about the uh, speed booster is you can leave the speed booster on your camera and you're good to go. But this is a speed booster XL with the Sigma uh, 1835 and unfortunately shooting on the GH5S with this lens you get some serious vignetting 
um, which I can show a clip here, but I'm using the wrong speed booster for this lens. And hello, kitty cat. He's very curious. Good buddy, but we're gonna put you down. Say hello. Say goodbye. Okay. He likes to jump up, and if you've watched any of my videos, he does it quite often. So, I mean, it's a little loose. What is this? Oh, this is loose, okay. All you do is tighten these up. Oh, wait. I missed something. I just noticed it. Um, it does come with an Allen wrench. It's built in to the little cage, so that's clever. Quite clever. I'm sorry I didn't mention that in the beginning, but it does come with an Allen wrench. It was just hidden from me. Next time, I'll pay more attention. But, if you guys like cameras and you guys like gadgets, you're probably gonna have an Allen wrench. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So this is like to loosen it up and change the position of the handle, but I like the position of the handle. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, this should be fine. And, yep. Seems pretty sturdy. I like that, not bad. Does that look good on the, the, the GoPro? I'm not, I can't tell you, I haven't seen it. Um, so, looks pretty straightforward. I would put a little shoe mount on this thing right here. So I got this little shoe mount stuff, as you can see, from one of my last videos. Little gadgets, pretty cool. But that kind of covers up my record button, so I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I can put it on the side. Can I still open up my camera cage card? Put it on the side. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be good. Right on. We can use black to make it blend in. They have silver and black. That's what I was talking about in one of my past videos. I just don't have enough stuff to build stuff with. And I, this is one of the reasons I like cameras so much, because they're like little erector sets, so you can build things, which is always fun for everyone. Right, nice and tight, a little too tight. Cool. And then we have one of our little, call them anchor arms. They're not anchor arms, they're axler arms. And I will mount this to the side. And what we can do with this is actually mount our audio. That's nice and tight. I can hear the echoes of my neighbors outside. Lovely. I love listening to my neighbors yelling outside my door. It's the best thing in the world. And then we mount this. So, First impressions of the small rig camera cage for the GH5, GH5S. Uh, works fine. I mean, for 80, 80 something bucks, or like the 120 if you want the handle. I know it costs a little bit more for the bottom piece as well that I didn't pick up. Probably should have, but I just didn't. I'll pick it up later. Um, it's, I think it's great. There's really nothing wrong with this for $80. It's a solution. It's the, probably the cheapest one on the market, unless somebody tells me otherwise. Um, but yeah, first impressions, big thumbs up. I actually think I'll use this a bunch. Um, would I like to get a nicer one, quote unquote? Sure, but I don't want to spend a thousand bucks on camera gear I typically just use in my apartment. So other in the bag, we did have some extra stuff. This is all the bonus stuff. We've got my opinion on the small, the small rig. This is another arm, much longer, that I plan to use for a monitor. So like it'd be like up here. Not real sure where I'm going to put the monitor, but I'm sure if I unscrew this, if I unscrew this bottom piece, huh, if I unscrew this bottom piece, I can screw this in to right here. Don't you just love going in on set when you have like one of these crazy looking camera things you've built? And I'll be able to put a monitor on this stuff. But what I could do is uh, use my phone in a little phone jack and actually, you know, uh, run my camera feed to my phone wirelessly via the Wi-Fi in the GH5 or GH5S, which I actually have a, one of those things right here on my fridge where I actually put my phone on stuff. So there's that, Un untighten this, do like this. And last on the thing, I got these. These do come with an Allen wrench. I got a lot of Allen wrenches now. Put these bags over here. And these are also pretty cool. They're just like little, uh, little mounts. 
So like you can put them in the little uh, shoe mount and you have like one of these. I thought they'd be kind of useful, you know, to semi-odd, put it off to the side right here, plug in something else, screw in something else, like, uh, which I have a good idea right now what I need to screw this into. So let me grab another one of these, another one of these little shoe mount thingies. Let me screw it right into the side of the camera. And then, Allen wrench, where'd you go? I have lost the Allen wrench. Dom, find the Allen wrench. Put it right on the side right here. Right. And what I can do is lock this in right here. No problem, screw this in tight. Dom, you're in the way now, bud. And bam. We can screw in the, uh, the wireless receiver for the camera. So now we have a nice little rig. This is kind of nice. Before you know it, you have a, a serious looking camera system. It looks kind of nutty, but like, I mean, this gets the job done. It's not very heavy either. Or maybe I'm just strong. I'm gonna go with strong. What you need to do now is just run the cable from here all the way to here. And we would just use some gaffing tape to tape down this table somewhere, or just like some Velcro strips to run it. I mean, whatever. Throw this on a tripod and you have a full little rigged out thing for all your filming needs. That was good. So again, my thoughts, I like it, not bad for uh, the most affordable rig that I could find online, <laughs> for sure. Uh, but I'm sure in the weeks to come, I'll be diving deep into this rig, this cage, putting it through its paces, trying to break it, hopefully not breaking it, um, and I'll be sure to follow up on my thoughts after a few weeks. Other than that, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Is this dumb? Is this good? It's a matter of opinion, so whatever. Um, as always, I'm Max, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.